Welcome back to Big Bill Anderson's Life Tours, my friends. Today I'm in Los Angeles at the Evergreen Cemetery, one of the oldest cemeteries in Los Angeles. And any of you that have been with me from the beginning all the way to now know I have a quite an infatuation with the Earp family from the Wild West days of Tombstone. I have done videos on Morgan Earp's grave and uh, many of the family members, the parents of Wyatt Earp. I have visited all of their graves except Virgil Earp, which I'll be doing real soon up in Portland, Oregon. But today we're going to pay our respects here at Evergreen Cemetery to Mrs. Louisa Earp, who was Morgan Earp's wife at the time of his murder in, in uh, Tombstone, Arizona in 1882. She was married to this man. She herself died very young in her 30s. And I'm going to tell you all about her life from Tombstone to the time she ended up uh, coming to Los Angeles, remarrying eventually, dying very young. But she was part of the Earp family, part of their legacy. And she was a beautiful woman, very dedicated to Morgan Earp. So stay with me, my friends. I'll tell you all about the life of Mrs. Louisa Earp. Louisa Alice Houston was born January 24, 1855 in Wisconsin and was the second eldest of 12 children. Louisa and her sister Kate left home around 1875 and traveled to Kansas where they found reputable employment with Fred Harvey's famous chain of waitresses, the Harvey Girls. First located in rail cars, Harvey restaurants quickly expanded along rail lines throughout the West. Weary passengers arriving in town were greeted by smiling waitresses in dark black dresses and crisp white aprons and welcome a welcome taste of domestication along the wild frontier. Within Mr. Harvey's more than perfect establishment, intelligent and attractive girls were expected to display good moral character wear spotless uniforms, live under strict dorm supervision, and were asked not to marry for a period of one year. Sometime around 1876, Louisa and Morgan Earp met in Dodge City, Kansas. Lou, as she was known by for many years, and Morgan eventually owned a home in Miles City, Montana. They lived in a small rustic log cabin on the edge of town until relocating to a homestead along the Tongue River, located approximately two or three miles away. As Lou and Morgan began their life together in Montana, things were not as promising as they would have liked. Afflicted with rheumatoid arthritis since a teenager, the 30 to 40 degree below zero temperatures were unkind toward Lou's ailment. Shortly after Wyatt and Virgil Earp headed for Tombstone, Arizona, Morgan and Louisa sold their Montana home, and he took her to stay with his parents in Colton, California, in March of 1880. Her sister-in-law, Adelia Earp, described Louisa as a very petite and beautiful woman. She loved flowers, wrote poetry, and kept a positive attitude, despite living with a debilitating illness for most of her adult life. She was a stunning looker, a fine person, and a clever young lady who was well-educated. On July 20th, 1880, Morgan alone set out to meet his older brothers and their wives in Tombstone, Arizona. Louisa eventually made her way to Tombstone in early December and was reunited with Morgan. This was a short-lived reunion because she returned to stay with his parents in Colton before Morgan was killed on March 18, 1882, while shooting a game of billiards. After Morgan's death, she visited her family in Minnesota and then returned to California. She eventually married again on New Year's Eve, 1885, to Henry Gustav Peters, a Long Beach shipyard foreman. 
but her marriage to him did not seem a happy one as it took her two months to write about it to her sister. Her health declined and in 1894, 39-year-old Louisa died. Although California Vital Statistics states that she had died of nephritis and diarrhea, letters exchanged between Gustav Peters and Louisa's sister Agnes said that Louisa died of a three-year bout with the sciatic rheumatism to which dropsy or edema added to the Indian sufferings. Lisa Collins played Louisa Earp in one of my favorite films, 1993's Tombstone with Kurt Russell and Bill Paxton played her husband, Morgan. Earlier this year, I visited Morgan Earp's gravesite at the Hermosa Garden Cemetery in Colton, California. I have been to his grave a dozen times over the years. I always feel like I'm stepping back into the Old West as I stare at the grave that says, U.S. Deputy Marshal Morgan S. Earp, born 1851, assassinated Tombstone, Arizona, March 18, 1882. It was said by all that knew her that Morgan was the love of her life and she actually died of a broken heart. Once lost due to deterioration and neglect, her gravestone re was restored by two good Samaritans, Tom Gomer and Kenny Vale. She is located here in Section J, lot number 2168. Mrs. Louisa Houston Earp Peters is forever immortalized as the star-crossed beauty, the stunning rose of the Wild West. So my friends, again, I have a deep respect for the Earp family and wanted to pay my respects to another member of the Earp family, Mrs. Louisa Houston Earp Peters. You see her grave here. This has been on my to-do list for quite some time and I finally got to accomplish this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for taking time out of your busy day spend a few minutes with me here at Big Bill Anderson's Life Tours. Thank you to all my new subscribers. It is very much appreciated. Please like, subscribe, share the video, tell your friends about my channel. More videos to come, my friends. Thank you very, very much, and adios, amigos.